Got my pilot hole. Okay, those are the four five sixteen inch holes. And now we need a 3 8 for the on off switch. utility knife and just cut that piece off and that will be the prototype before I cut the actual copper bar. These are the prototype bus bar pieces I made. I know pieces of door skin or I guess some people call it lana. Nice thin wood and did that so that and be sure that the distance between these holes is correct and that I have the right size holes. So let's put that together and see what it looks like. These four should go together. That's pretty good. And then on the bottom of our switch, Got to fit over these bolts. That works. So that is what it's going to be like. So using these prototypes as a guide, now I will cut the copper. To find the center for your drill, you'll want to use the center punch. Before using the center punch, you need to locate the spot on your copper where you're gonna make that center punch. So if you draw with a sharpie first, then you can use the center punch itself, use a tape measure, and find the exact location for that point, that's ex the exact center. Then of course you're going to want to take your center punch, put it down there, and hit it with a hammer. That'll keep the drill from drifting when you drill your hole. After you've hit it with the hammer, and you've got that center located, then you can take some acetone and wipe off the Sharpie and you'll end up with these nice center punch holes. The reason for the center punch holes is to locate specific location for your drill and by having that indent the drill won't drift around. The bus bar requires 5 16 inch holes for the fuses and a 3 8 inch hole for the on off switch.
that is the bus bar section for the shutoff switch and the four fuses. And like magic, we've turned our wooden prototype into the finished bus bar. So these are the bus bars. And now let's see if we can install those. And that's the completed bus bar for this project. Remember, if I didn't have this bus bar, I would have to connect these fuses with heavy gauge wires. So having this bus bar truly saves an awful lot of work and makes it much neater than it would be with several small, short cables attaching each one of those fuses. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this about converting your van, please subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I post the next video. Thank you for watching.